Hello, this is Steve Matthews speaking, but I'm also sometimes known as the Mask Dan. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, <clears throat> as well as being a social worker th during the day, I also used to do shifts on the emergency out of hours service. We were pretty much on our own, based at home, receiving calls via a deputising service. We received every conceivable type of request, ranging from referrals for child protection through to Mental Health Act assessments and requests for night sitters for elderly people. You also got requests that were so out of the ordinary that they didn't readily fit into any category and required finding solutions by thinking out of the box. One night I was contacted by the local police about a couple of new age travellers who lived in a traditional horse-drawn caravan and would tour the commons and heaths of the county, camping for a few nights at a time before moving on. They didn't bother anyone, always clearing up their site before leaving and no one bothered them. Until one night, <clears throat> they had a fire in the caravan and although they had managed to rescue most of their belongings, the caravan had been burnt out. The police were asking for assistance to sort them out with emergency accommodation. This was complicated by the fact that they had two horses and a dog. As they didn't have any children and couldn't be regarded as vulnerable, social services did not really have any responsibility for assisting them. In any case, finding accommodation for a couple of able-bodied people at such short notice, late in the evening, was a non-starter. And finding emergency accommodation for two horses, not to mention a dog, was virtually impossible. Being a social worker, I still felt that I should do something if I could. It called for some lateral thinking. I had an idea. I consulted my file of useful resources that I had compiled over the years and started to make phone calls. Eventually, I got hold of a local voluntary organisation and had a chat with them. They were able and willing to help. It was arranged that they would provide a large tarpaulin and deliver it to the site. The travellers were therefore able to construct a bender using the tarpaulin and remain on the common at least for the time being. This meant that they could also continue to look after their dog and their horses. Problem solved. If you have been, thank you for watching. If you found anything informative, interesting or entertaining, please consider liking and following.